grandchildren is going to hell. I get the average person being like, cause my, my dad would always say, oh, like those incompetent government guys can't, you know, get anything done. They, you know, they can't keep a secret. But you're a guy, like, you, you worked in that organization, and you know, and now we all know, like, you know, like, the, for instance, that the coup in Iran, we didn't, that wasn't, no one knew about that for 30, 40 years afterwards. That, that's right. And, that's uh, right. It, it wasn't until after Kermit Roosevelt's death right. that that became public. Right, and there's a lot, a lot of situations like that. I feel like you know, in the in the 2000s, there was like with that Legacy of Ashes book, there was the tendency. Oh, maybe I, I was wondering almost deliberately to kind of paint the CIA as almost like ah, well, mo- they're mostly incompetent. Yeah, they're bumbling in. idiots, right? But for the most right. part, they're they're very versed in getting these things done. They have these networks of you know dark money that flows through uh, the right. illicit drugs that they use to fund their operations. I mean, these are all documented things. So, like, right. knowing that, knowing what they're capable of, and knowing kind of what tends to motivate them, what what's the la- the thing that kind of keeps you from? I'm, you know, I'm not saying like UFO type shit, but you know, like real, you know, like cons- the more conspiratorial things. What kind of what what's the thing that holds you back from believing a lot of that stuff? Like, well, you know, I think it's because I know a lot of these guys, and a lot of them are idiots. Right. And uh, yeah. it, you you have so many moving parts that all have to run in sync. And then in the meantime, everybody has to keep his mouth completely shut. And I think that they're just not able to do that. I think they're isn't that in, true in of, most uh, cases, they're just not smart enough to be able to pull something like that off. But again, isn't that, isn't that true of a lot of your more sensitive operations in the CIA? You have to keep your mouth shut and a lot of moving parts. Like they're not all idiots. We know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've met. I'm, I know how organizations work. But I mean, sure. You know, like, so, like, you know, when you look at this, like, that's kind of the, the de facto answer. It's like, oh, there's too many moving parts, and then people aren't as smart as you think they are. But, like, they, this is kind of what they do. This is how they, you know, operate. And I'm not saying that, you know, 9-11 was faked, but, I mean, you, you look at certain elements of, like, like we mentioned before, the Saudi financial yeah, it's just we, it's, it's, it's interesting to us that there's such a reticence to deal honestly with the American people yeah. with regard to the role that Saudi Arabia may or may not have played in that attack. And, you know, at the end of the day, that, that probably is, could, be, could be more from the Bush family than, than the actual, you know, agency. But it's just when, when we look at this, you know, like I said, obviously we don't, we don't come down on the side that this is like, you know, a, an inside job or anything like that. But there seems to be so much left out that it, it leaves this space for conspiracy, for conjecture, because there's so much we don't know. What about Saudi Arabia? I mean, obviously, obviously we have a financial interest with them, but it seems like, you know, we we are very deferential to them on on many of these big issues. Yes. You know, I think that's probably the most important point. Uh, And that is that we really have not gotten to the body to the bottom of the Saudi issue. The American people have not. Uh, been provided with the facts that they deserve about Saudi Arabia's role, either formally or informally. Uh, you know, I'll tell you another thing. When when we captured Abu Zubaydah, we confiscated his um, address book. And in this address book were the names and cell phone numbers of two Saudi princes. Neither one was terribly important. Neither one was, was in the uh, Saudi um, uh, governmental structure, but they were royal family members. Well, soon after those names were were provided, to, not provided, but soon after we, we got those names, both of them died mysteriously. One was killed in a car accident, and the other one went camping in the desert and died of thirst. 10-4, we got you. <laughs> we'll you know, we'll I mean, move on. <laughs> we'll move on. We get what you're saying. Anyway, foods, Greek foods, what do you like? Is it spanakopita? What's the... Va- 